so I'm back under the hood of the 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee and today's tiny project is replacing the idle air control valve while giving a brief explanation on its purpose. So let's get started. I'm removing the negative battery terminal to ensure that everything is switched off and unable to function while I work. And to give myself more recording room, I'll be removing this air hat. And you'll need a 13 16 for a 20 millimeter socket for removal. So now we have the throttle body exposed. You'll notice there's three sensors attached to it. This one up front is the manifold absolute pressure sensor. This is the throttle position sensor. And the one facing the firewall in the back is our idle air control valve. It's usually held in place with two T25 screws, but this one has the Phillip head screws and there's limited space, so I recommend using a right angle ratcheting screwdriver. The one I'm using came in a 28 piece set for $16 ship, and I'll leave a link to this tool in the description below. As for the connector, you just lift up on this tab and pull outward for removal. So this is the idle air control valve and it works with your car's computer to electronically regulate airflow around your throttle body for smooth idling. When your foot is on the accelerator pedal, the throttle plates open so more air gets to your engine. But when you take your foot off the accelerator pedal, the throttle plates close and block airflow to your engine. And without air, your engine will cut off. Your idle air control valve has a pencil that extends when the throttle is open, but when the throttle is closed, the pencil retracts to let air pass through the small channel and into the engine to keep it running. If the pencil doesn't extend, you'll have a high and rough idle caused by a vacuum leak, which leads to a lean condition due to the engine getting too much air. And when it doesn't retract, it can leave your vehicle without a source of air to maintain proper idle, which can lead to hard starting and your engine randomly cutting off on you when you come to a stop. And the first warning sign of trouble is usually irregular idle speed. I'm using a Mopar replacement part number 5303-0657 AD and is with anything you wanna check and make sure you have the correct part before installation. I'm using a dab of transmission fluid from the dipstick to lubricate the O-ring gasket for a better sealing surface. And it's a good idea to clean out the idle air control valve cavity. I'm just using carbon throttle body cleaner with a shop tile. There's no physical adjustment of the idle air control valve required after installation, but to reset the pencil position, you lightly step on the accelerator pedal, then start the engine and run for five seconds. Turn the ignition switch to the off position for 10 seconds, then restart the engine and check for proper idle operation. <laughs> 